So hello and welcome back to the channel. Today is coached session day. So we are just warming up before we go and meet our group to do explosive hill sprints. <coughs> so this week has been about recovering from the Tadcaster 10 mile race we did last Sunday. If you've not seen that video, check it out. Great race, lovely course. Um, on Tuesday, we did some mile repeats, but not flat out. Met a couple of friends. I started them at around marathon effort, finished at half marathon effort for the four mile efforts. We're doing this coach session today ourselves, hoping to get some explosive hill sprints in. And the weekend so we'll should end at around 50 miles with a Saturday park run and a Sunday long run. It's hard to get rid of. So I'm just gonna... yeah. Runners are in the middle of a 1.4 mile warm up, which is part of the ramp protocol. This increases the muscle temperature and allows them to be ready to complete the session they're about to do. Once the runners have completed the R part of the ramp protocol with their jog warm-up, I then get them to activate key muscle groups. Here we do some squat jumps with the arms thrown back to replicate the motion they will be doing during the explosive hill sprints. Other activation activities may include forward and backward lunges. John is taking the runners through the end part of the ramp warm-up. Here you can see them doing the open and close gait exercise which is mobilising their hips ready to complete the explosive hill sprints session. The final thing we get the runners to do as part of the ramp warm-up is to potentiate. That means gradually increasing the stress on the body in preparation for the upcoming session. Here we have runners starting with fast feet, moving into 50 yard strides. Dawn now explains the session. Two sets of six 15 second explosive hill sprints with a slow 90 second walk jog recovery. You should be sick at the end. <laughs> hill running is the most specific form of strength training that a runner can do. When you run up a hill, there is an increased resistance and thereby an increase in specific running strength. The explosive reaction caused by the lifting of the hips, glutes, and quads up the hill utilizes the same principal mechanics behind doing plyometrics. Explosive hill running can also improve your neuromuscular development. The neuromuscular system is the communication system between your brain and your muscles. A boost of fitness to the neuromuscular system allows your body to increase the speed at which it sends signals to the muscles and, more importantly, allows your body to activate a greater percentage of muscle fibres and fire them more forcefully. The execution of short explosive hill sprints greatly enhances both of these neurological factors, making you a more efficient runner. The final training adaptation brought about by explosive hill sprints is an increase in the maximal stroke volume of the heart. Stroke volume is the amount of blood that can be pumped from the heart in one stroke. A greater stroke volume decreases the heart rate and therefore makes the heart more efficient and makes you a more efficient runner. For explosive hill sprints, bring cardiovascular improvements to your running.